It's been said in some words by many people that part of the reason that Minecraft feels more boring now is because survival mode has gotten substantially easier over the years. This argument usually gets some backlash in basically any video that anyone says it, and people will typically fall back on the same excuse that it's the critiquer's fault that they're not enjoying the game anymore. This is somewhat a dumb argument because it is factually true that Minecraft survival mode has gotten easier over the years, but there is a pretty good solution for this entire controversy and I'll be talking a lot about that in today's video, so let's get into it. So yes, Minecraft has gotten easier, and for many people this is an issue, but fortunately this issue does have a solution. So, if you look at survival in Minecraft today, it is, in most cases, not very challenging, and it doesn't even really feel like survival mode at all. And so, people who don't want to see this issue resolved and just want things to stay as they are now, will typically say things like, well, Minecraft survival was never supposed to be for survival anyway which is just right off the bat a pretty ridiculous sounding statement. After all, the game mode was dubbed by the developers survival mode, made specifically separate from creative, creative being for those who just wanted to still chill and have their open sandbox where they could do whatever they want whenever they want with unlimited resources at their disposal. And then survival mode was still for those who wanted that open sandbox, but also wanted a challenge at the same time, to make it feel like they were really accomplishing something. Survival mode in the early days really was for survival. At first without beds you couldn't even skip the night, without shields or sprinting combat was substantially more difficult. Common mobs now that we don't feel scared of at all, back then were really a force to be reckoned with, especially to an unprepared or inexperienced player. And with no villages or so few structures, you really had to make your own shelter, because you were all alone for the most part. It was you out in the wilderness fighting for your life to survive, while eventually prospering if you were up for the task. But slowly, things did start to change. Of course, beds were introduced and you could just skip the night whenever you wanted, almost completely eliminating the threat of nighttime. Then, to make things worse, beds kept on being made easier to get, with sheep spawning more often and then villages offering you pre-built houses with beds to sleep in. Villages became even more common, the phantom was introduced forcing the player to sleep. Of course, sprinting and shields were added, as well as the hunger system and enchanting, and animal foods became stackable. Minecraft survival mode, which was as the name suggested, supposed to be about surviving, gradually became not about surviving anymore. Which some people quite liked. Some people who were forced into playing creative before then decided to play survival mode because it was easier for them. Which led us out to where we are now, with people trying to say that Minecraft survival mode isn't supposed to be challenging and was never meant to be because otherwise that would impair the player's ability to just do whatever they want, however they want, whenever they want, with any resources that they want. Even though, of course, creative mode also allows all of that. This is a real issue, and a lot of people will say the solution is to just go play old Minecraft. But that isn't the real solution. It has two major faults. One, of course, Bedrock players don't have the privilege of choosing whatever version they want to play. And two, if you go back to old Minecraft, you have to give up a lot of features that you might actually want to play with. 
what if I want something similar to the challenge of old Minecraft while still being able to have llamas for pets or being able to go to an ancient city? Simply going back to old Minecraft doesn't offer a perfect fix for this, but there is one much better fix that would require Mojang to step in and do something. Create a new retro game mode or difficulty. That way, players who still want the relaxed sandbox survival mode can have it with the regular survival mode. But players who want that more challenging, classic-style survival mode can have it with this new game mode. Because currently, Minecraft survival mode is just kind of trying to be a one-size-fits-all type of thing, and it isn't really working. Hence so much of the division amongst the community lately, and this new game mode would be a very large bandage to repair a lot of that. But I won't get into the specifics of what this game mode might actually change. Because with this game mode, you actually don't have to give up any modern Minecraft features. Except for maybe one, we'll get into that in a bit. Beds might still be in the game, but perhaps they will work a bit differently. First, you can't sleep on the first night just at all. The first night is very iconic and important to that classic survival experience. It's when you're at your weakest, your lowest. It puts that real fear and challenge of survival into you. And just being able to sleep in a village to skip through it all is a pretty big problem at least to those who would be interested in this game mode. Now once you do get your first bed, sleeping still won't work quite the same. With the first basic version of the bed, you will have somewhere from a 25 to 50% chance of being able to sleep when you try to. Otherwise, you won't be able to sleep through the night with that 75 or 50% chance. But this isn't permanent there could be a bed upgrade system that could work one of two ways. One would be the generic way, upgrading from wood, then with stone, then with iron, then with diamond. Though, since that might feel a bit weird with beds and also to make things a bit more interesting and original, I thought of a different upgrade path. That being with wood types. The first bed that you make is made up of all one wood type, then you can upgrade that bed by going into a crafting table and adding a new wood type to it. For each wood type that you add to the bed, the higher chances you have of being able to sleep each night. Let's say by the time you've added every single wood type to the bed, you have a 90 or 95% chance of being able to sleep at night. This is already a massive change, of course, but we have more. Villages will be considerably rarer, probably about twice as rare, and maybe 1.5 times the size to make up for it a bit. But specifically in Generation, there could possibly be no villages near spawn, say within a 1,000 or 2,000 block radius around the player's spawn, so that they are really spawning in the wilderness once again with no village nearby to help them out for the first night. And now, let's talk about tool repairing. The one feature that I said would get completely cut out, that is mending. Or perhaps it could be available very rarely as structure loot. But instead, to repair tools, players would have to use anvils and ingots or second tools to keep them alive. To make this a bit more doable, the too expensive tag would be removed from anvils. And this is also something I saw a lot of people suggest in my comment sections for that ideas video. And it could certainly work in regular survival mode as well, but I think would be especially fitting for this retro game mode. Also, there would need to be some kind of a villager trade rework, although there also really needs to be one in regular survival. Specifically so that you can't just make villager trading halls or um, uh, camps, let's say. Another little change here is that phantoms would spawn much less frequently to match the new bed and sleeping system. Perhaps it would take twice as many nights for them to spawn, maybe even three or four times as many. 
they would still be in the game, just take a lot longer to spawn. Also, for combat changes in this game mode, perhaps shields wouldn't block all damage from an attack. Maybe they would start out at blocking 50%, then you could upgrade them with resources to get it up to blocking 90% damage. And as for sprinting, a possible solution is a stamina bar. Hunger would likely still be in the game, and sprinting might also still consume extra hunger, but now it would also take stamina. Stamina only lasting for, let's say, 10 seconds before it runs out and then you have to let it replenish, which would probably take another 10 to 20 seconds. Now, with these changes, mobs are going to be a lot more difficult to fight, just like they used to be. Now, another change to discourage just randomly hunting and killing animals and to encourage actual farming would be that raw meat can now only stack up to 16. Sort of like how meat used to only stack to 1. Obviously not quite as extreme, but still going back in that direction a bit. But anyway, those are all of the changes I have in mind for this game mode. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments and some ideas you might have for changes that could be made in this game mode. But to wrap things up, the whole one-size-fits-all survival mode thing, it probably won't work forever, and I think Mojang should really at least consider making this new game mode. My guess is that a large part of the reason that they haven't is because they don't think there's really profit incentive in them for it, or Microsoft doesn't think there is. Which I honestly think is incorrect. If they added this new game mode or difficulty, I think it would probably bring a lot of players back to the game, resulting in a massive popularity boost, and in turn, Mojang getting more attention, and maybe making some more money as a result. It's a win for everyone, essentially. But that's all I've got for you today. Consider subscribing, it helps a ton. I'm really looking forward to getting that fixing the progression video out, although I know I'm probably going to have some angry commenters. But I hope to see you in that one, which should be coming out really soon. Thank you, and goodbye.